guys, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your monthly horoscope for March 2017, guys. We are getting through it, getting into that spring fever, baby. I'm ready for spring break. I don't know about y'all, but I love spring break. However, big, big welcome back, guys. Welcome back, family. Big hugs, lots of love, high five dabs, and a little bit of elbows. All right. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us and giving me an opportunity to join with you. This month, your power animal is the dolphin. Hold up. Let me put my little timer on, guys, because y'all know I talk a little way too damn much sometimes. The clock. All right. Stop and reset. Okay, so your power animal this month is the dolphin. But before I jump into the dolphin, I want to tell you there are some major celestial things going on with the Venus retrograde, and your sign is getting hit pretty hard. It doesn't mean for you to go into hibernation or be afraid. It's just the energies that are coming around. On March 4th, it is going 13 degrees into Aries, moving direct on April 15th, and it'll be out of retrograde on May 20th. However, Mars and Venus are both in Aries, and people may become a little self-centered during this time. So what is Venus retrograde? Basically, Venus retrograde is when it appears that Venus is going backwards. However, it's not. And this can affect some of our love relationships, our central relationships, the way we view aesthetics and beauty and things like that. So be ready for some crazy exes giving you some phone calls. Mine has already started. Um, I think it was January 30th was the shadow time. I have been having the most oddest experiences. My cell phone has been very entertaining lately. However, just be aware that people will be professing their love. You may get some extravagant gifts. Things are going to be a little bit fishy, okay? Now Taurus and Libra, rising moon and Venus are some of the signs that do feel this shift um, more than others. So right now might not be the best time to start a new relationship. However, if you're already in an existing relationship, this is a great time to hash out some of the issues you're having. You may be a little bit more assertive or impulsive. All right. With that being said, let's look at the dolphin. All right, guys, you are all about harmony, highly intelligent and in tune with your instincts. Balance with intuition and intelligence is your key. This is a symbol of protection and resurrection. OK, you approach life with humor. I think you might need humor this month, too. OK, so check your vibrations, you know, make sure that you're speaking life into things. Make sure that when you're using your voice, that you're being very clear um, that dolphins live at peace with every animal. They don't have an enemy. So it's like you're going to have a copacetic month, OK, because you're going to be respecting a lot of people because I've gotten the elk the reindeer and the deer for you. So there's a lot going on for you as far as with that animal also. So you are on the cusp of a spiritual and personal rebirth, okay? Dolphins are very intelligent, okay? So they also are good team workers. So that is what you're dealing with. That's how you're gonna work with this energy this month and this is how this animal is gonna push you through. Now, with that being said, you got the Ancestor of Guidance. This is one of my favorite cards. This is the Elk Totem. And if you see his hands, it's like they're reaching out for you. Like the, um, I'm so glad y'all can't see me because I'm crazy. Um, I'm doing movements and all kinds of stuff. This is the Elk Totem. Nobility, endurance with relationship with others and respecting others. Profound wisdom is coming through. Companionship of family. Realization of your dreams. Things are just coming in and you're feeling divinely guided, okay? Almost like you really need to pay attention to the signs and the symbols that are going on. Numbers, dreams, um, synchronicities that you get when you turn the radio on, little messages. Your ancestors are around you, okay? Now, with that being said, Dream Traveler was one of the cards that came out for you on how to work with this energy. So... What does it say? You are a channel for spirit. Trust your intuitions and hunches and gut reactions. You're going to have to really trust your intuition. Think about how intuitive the dolphin is, okay? Your higher self and spiritual guides, ancestors and guardians are watching over you, supporting you. You are blessed. You are a blessing. It is time to pay attention to your dreams and the messages that you are receiving. Now, with that, I'm going to tell you, don't tell everybody what you're getting all right some things need to be kept in the medicine bag gather your resources and be discerning about who gets your energy and your power choose wisely do not make hasty decisions you are very protected right now so 
just make sure that your little bolsita, your little bag of tricks right there, you're not showing it to everybody, okay? Because not everybody can handle what you're dealing with this month. You got a lot of information coming in, a lot of like intuition dreams knowledge and some of y'all are highly intuitive especially because you got the dolphin this month and you really need to trust it okay with that being said let's jump into your read we have the babylonian tarot by sandra tabitha cicero and not to mention guys it has already been pre-shuffled however we're going to shuffle together and we're going to pray over the deck all right as I cut the deck, I have the Three of Cups with the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. She's upright, so it's okay. But there's possibly a third party or too much pleasure, too much, too much of a good thing can be bad, right? And too many people can also. So let's see what we got going on this month. Let's show us these cards. Show us the energy that you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And that is it, guys. It is, let me see if we'll go one more, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe it will. Okay. Show us the energy you have for the month of March. And your cards are kind of, um, kind of antsy today. All right. Let me get these out of here. Put them in front of me so I can remember what they are. All right. In the past, you were dealing with the Prince of Cups. In the present, we have the Nine of Wands reversed. The Hidden Influence is the Nine of Arrows. Uh-oh. <laughs> reversed. I mean, upright. Your advice is the Four of Arrows. And a possible outcome is the Eight of Wands. Overall energy is the Eight of Cups. All right, I have right behind it is the Ten of Wands. I'm going to tell you, some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Leo. Look at all the lines that are in this read. Okay, in the past, you were offering your cup of love. You was ready to fall in love. You were feeling good. You might have had an announcement of a baby coming. But this is like a karmic situation. Um, and this was you in the past. You were ready for adventures of all kinds or dealing with somebody who was ready for adventures of all kinds. Um, this could be attributed to Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer for some, but it doesn't necessarily have to apply to that sign, all right? Now, in the present moment, you are tired of fighting. You are done. You're just like, damn, I'm tired of this. You know, you, you're all up in my head. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm tired. I, all I can hear is like, ugh. That's what I hear. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> So that's kind of how you feel about the situation at hand. For some reason at the present, you're not excited about this delay or this, this thing that is getting in the way. Something is getting in the way. The hidden influence is right here with this lion, this possible Leo that you're dealing with. Because I see a lot of fire sign coming through for you. Now, I also see that there's this one little arrow coming out from you. And that is like your ace of arrows, even though you're being attacked, even though you feel attacked in this situation and it's a freaking nightmare, you will still rise above the I that the ace that's coming out of you, that one arrow that's still fighting is saying not to give up because here you're ready to give up. But the hidden influence is saying, no, baby, don't give up. Don't give up. Take a break. The advice is to take a break, is to heal. And if this is a relationship that you're thinking about, then this is a good time to take a step back and actually heal from whatever was caused there. Do you see how the lion is attacking here? But here, the lioness is like, hold on, let me get myself together under the tree of life and rest and relax. Then guess what happens? A swift movement, communication picks back up. Things are back on the up and up. You are moving and grooving with grace. But I'm going to tell you, this is where medicine bag comes in. Watch your back. Watch how you're communicating. Watch what you're saying. Watch who you're saying it to and how you're saying it. Now, with this Eight of Cups, for me, this Eight of Cups, this is, this is Gilgamesh. When he's going and he's looking for that plant right up here, this plant of life. And here comes the snake and he eats it right when he's just about to get it, right? Right there, right at that moment. The thing is, there's something you've been fighting for, something that you thought would make you happy. That one thing is to help, it's deterring you from seeing all these other things that you have. 
And for others, it's time to drop all of this and focus on one thing. It depends on where you're at in your life, okay? Because this is all about respect. It's all about respecting and relationships when I'm looking at this teamwork, okay? But if you notice, there's always one, 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 one. So it might be that you don't want to work on this team. You don't want to be a part of this partnership, but there's something going on and you need to take a step back and get some healing going on. Some of y'all are moving with the two nines right next to each other and others of you are experiencing high levels of anxiety this month. Okay. Lots of movement with the eights and the nines. Show me Prince of Cups could talk. What does he have for us in the past? Okay, I think it's going to be, ah, it's the magician. Okay, in my deck, the magician is the father of the Prince of Cups. So for some, this is a family situation that is just becoming overwhelming. And you are dealing with a person who is a little bit emotionally bipolar. Somebody who is hot one minute and cold the next. One person who will show you exactly what you want to see and then go behind your back and do something else. That is that right there. So you're going to have to watch your back. Actually, this is Aya's messenger, the magician's messenger. And he was so fast that he would go and deliver the messages on the forefront of war and then come right back to Aya. Be aware. Okay. And I know that I'm going off of what the cards mean, but I'm going with the stories here. Be aware. That right now you might feel a little defeated because you're seeing what the magician is putting up a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors, you know, like this is what it is, but it's really not that. OK, don't give up the good fight. Keep having those good ideas. Take a break and communicate effectively. For some, you're dealing with a water sign who is just like, oh, my gosh, they make it seem like you're always wrong and they're always right. And it's a freaking nightmare. I'm almost cursed again. Sorry, guys. It's just a nightmare for you. So take a break. I would even say embrace online dating <laughs> if you want to with that aid of uh, wands coming through. You're going to have to watch the way you communicate with social media and online because that eight of uh, wands is quick communication, all right? And if you remember the message of the elk, it's to have respect. So if this is a family situation and you know this family member is pulling the wool over your eyes, I'm going to tell you, please still respect them. Because in the end, it's all about trusting your intuition and instincts with the dolphin. And the dolphin gets along with everybody. And I think that's the energy you're going to have to harness in this situation because it is a little bit intense. Okay. I kind of want to see what this nine of arrows has for us. Show me more on the nine of arrows. Good luck is coming in for you, my friend. That's the third nine that you have. This is the ending of a cycle for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are going through this situation, and this is it. Once you start making your decisions, you take this break, and this is like a double break. Get, get, get safe is what I want to tell you. Get in a safe place. Really consider what it is before you give up and make sure that you have a plan and then take a step back and allow the plan to manifest before you communicate it. That's what I'm getting for you this week, Taurus. And as I look at the bottom of the deck, I have the two of arrows upright. So there's going to be peace, but I'm going to tell you, continue watching your back. That 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 Prince of Cups or that magician, that father-son duo or mother-daughter duo that you got going over there, because this is a general read, they are something else. <laughs> they are like a thorn in your side. That's all I can think of. Like they are not fun. And I'm going to use an Oracle card just to see how you can work with the energy because they're really mean. Oh, they're very mean. All my cards fell. This is what happens when you can't sit down. <laughs> I get so excited and I can't sit down. Okay. The spirit keeper of the East is coming in for them. So I don't feel like this is a situation like that you want to continue dealing with. It's almost like letting it go, allowing it. You know how you just had to kind of let things burn themselves to the ground? Like I feel like that little duo right there, they need to like start all over. Spirit Keeper of the East says new beginnings, a fresh cycle. With all those nines, a fresh cycle is needed. Wipe the slate clean no matter what happened in the past. It doesn't need a repeat in the future. And then it tells you, although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships when they no longer empower you, 
It's time to not cling to the old, but to set sail on new waters. Face your fears and allow yourself to go in new directions. New opportunities will be born in your life. So that's what I kind of feel is like that duo, the father, son, mother, daughter, your relationship, whatever, even if it's at work, whoever that pair is, it's almost like you can't fix it. So, you know, you just let lying dogs lie. You're going to get your plan together. You're going to figure it out. You're going to take a break and you're going to move on. And it's basically like they're not going to change. So why keep trying to change them? Because they're going to keep putting up the smoke and mirrors. They're going to keep making it being illusional. And they're going to make you feel like you're crazy because you're dealing with crazy. Okay. A lot of times that's what happens. They try to pass the crazy on to you so then you think you're the one that's wrong but in reality it's really them okay <coughs> sorry guys i'm still sick mm. now the card that i pulled out that's going to help lead you through the past the present and the potential of this situation or of this month is delphi okay now this in the past well the main focus of this is wisdom and i think that's what your ancestor of guidance is trying to bring in through for you is wisdom all right now this teaching was embraced in the mystery schools know thyself self-knowledge is the root of all advancement this card invites you to be completely honest with yourself do you acknowledge your fears worries and doubts or do you sweep them under the carpet can you admit your real likes and dislikes desires resentments and sorrows you're being asked to take off your mask and reveal your true self taurus once you lay yourself bare, you will learn what you need to know in order to heal and grow. When you truly know yourself, nothing and no one other than you can hurt you. You have the ultimate wisdom and power. Okay, so that's in the past. So I feel like in the past that goes with the magician and that Prince of Cups. Like the Prince of Cups brought you some information that was like freaking Boo Boo the Fool. Like you you just knew it was ridiculous. And you're tired of fighting it with that Nine of Wands reversed. And you're just like stagnant now you don't know what the next move is all right now in the present it's telling you it's time to summon your psychic abilities and that goes right there to dream traveler okay perhaps um practicing it would be the best thing it's time to become an oracle to yourself and to others and do not fear your own abilities trust your visions and share your prophecies and the knowledge that in so doing you're offering your sacred symbol of victory okay now i'm going to tell you watch who you share it with watch watch how quickly you communicate it because you don't want it to be in the wrong hands okay now the potential of this is you're being called to seek out a sacred place where you can quietly and listen where you can rest quietly and that's that four of arrows and listen to the message from your soul it's time for you to connect it's time for you to stop denying the fact that you can actually um harness messages and especially because you have this dolphin the dolphin is very intuitive know that your previous experiences your knowledge and your deep wisdom qualify you to make your voice heard and that's what that dolphin is saying is saying speak up you know the dolphins have that really high pitched sound and it's time for your voice to be heard taurus so let that situation transform itself do not allow yourself to be stagnant and move forward progress take your time and communicate effectively and that's what i have oh wait i have one more card for you your rune for the month is i pulled two because they fell out the situation i feel like this highlights that situation and that is isa and isa is all about ice okay this is a situation that's going to take a while to melt the animal for that card is the reindeer and that's why i'm telling you you have a lot of antlers antlers represent protection antlers represent um the ability to keep you safe and the ability to scare your opponent okay and that's that medicine bag now this is saying it's a message of stillness you need to allow the situation to just melt itself away all right this is obstacles move with caution and have lots of patience now you had algae also come out and i'm telling you algae is look it's the it's the elk so you got the elk and the reindeer and for me that's antlers 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 and the elk is a symbol of the battle okay and it suggests that um assistance is needed 
and it gives you assurance that help is coming and it calls for you to show courage in the face of danger and to be brave and it reminds us to remain alert to danger so that you can move swiftly this is protection and persistence so yes you need to protect yourself even though you're relaxing and you're resting you need to make sure that you are allowing that elk energy to respect boundaries for them to respect yours and for you to respect theirs to come through because you need to know yourself in in order to move on to where you are where you are wanting to be all right so that's what i have for you this month guys big love lots and lots and lots and lots of hugs and kisses taurus because it's going to be a rough month for you whether it's family or relationship related or work related it's going to be one of those months that moves like really really slow at first and then it's like hot fire at the end okay now, with that being said, guys, if you are emailing me for reads, please be advised that the prices have changed. They have gone up. I am unable to meet the supply and demand of a $15 read anymore. And um, I am backed up on orders almost by two or three weeks because of how many came through. So please be patient with me and be advised that the special is over and the prices have changed. So with that being said, thank you so much for your love and for your support, Taurus, and I wish you nothing but the best.